Okay guys, today we're going to be talking about bushcrafting hatchets and what you should buy and what you should avoid. Now, I'm going to try to hold as much bias out of this, but I will let you know that I'm no fan of being catfished in any part of life. And I'm not going to lie, the Husqvarna hatchet that you see is not the Husqvarna hatchet that I saw. I'll reflect some pictures of what I saw and what I thought I was buying and what I've received. Now, that being said, I'm not going to let that point purely affect this uh, video, but there are truly some issues with the Husqvarna, and it is the hatchet you want to avoid. Uh, but like I said, it's not just because I was catfished, so to speak, or, you know, a subversion of expectations in a negative way. <laughs> um, but ultimately, there are some really good points here to learn, and ultimately, I feel that both of these hatchets are good reflections of good and bad hatchets in their features, their designs, ergonomics. Now, the biggest thing that I want to stress in this video is is the reduction of fatigue and that is where I see hatchets being their most useful in the role of bushcrafting. I don't think that a hatchet in true form of bushcraft is a mainline front heavy duty use all the time type of tool. Your personal experience may vary on that but what I do see hatchets primarily dominating is situations like you can kind of see here where I have a tree that I want to limb and I want to do it fast, effectively, and safely. And to use a large axe, you can certainly do this. Same type of procedure with a larger axe. The issue that you run into with something like a larger axe, though, is that it's a heavier head, a larger handle that you usually have to end up choking up on, and that creates fatigue. And if you, that's okay if you're only you know, uh, going through a few pieces of wood. But if you have an entire cord or if you are working on building a craft, such as an elevated kitchen, like I've built before, you need multiple logs. And we're talking about multiple trees, really. And so having... So getting burnt out with fatigue uh, after processing one tree may not be bad if one tree is what you need, but if you need two or three trees, th there's truly an effective way of processing them. And most of that requires having a hatchet for some of the smaller, lighter duty work. So when we have a hatchet that is heavier, has a very unrefined edge, a thick head that doesn't really lend itself to being a conducive cutter, it ends up being a hatchet that encourages fatigue, both in ergonomics and in design. So that is why the Husqvarna, for me, is a complete hatchet to avoid. Because this hatchet here, as you can tell between the two, the ergonomics are very much off. The head itself, the design, is very unrefined with an edge that really doesn't make a lot of sense for a hatchet. If this was a splitting axe, I would totally see this head design being good. Because the head design itself is large, it's not refined, it doesn't have any type of real... Uh, lightning cuts in it and the actual edge itself is a very abrupt uh, convex or sorry concave edge that does better at splitting than it does at slicing. So on the left here you have the Holtzbruch Almic, which by all means is a very expensive axe, but you can see that the head is much smaller and much lighter. You can also see that so it has a much a better convex edge that is tapered back so that it allows an edge that is more thin at the very cutting point and it allows you to do more slicing and ultimately it reduces fatigue truly when you're going through and doing a mundane task such as limbing a tree you want something that's easy to use something that doesn't require a very large power stroke and something that you can wield uh, time and time again you want something that's ergonomics lend its hand to prolonged use. In addition to this, you want something that head lends its hand to ergonomics and prolonged use. So without, with all that out of the way, that's the core 
of this message. Uh, when it comes to a bushcrafting situation with a hatchet, while experience may vary, by and large, you're going to want something that is truly going to reduce fatigue and make your job easier when going through lots of wood. Not just merely getting the job done, but actually helping you to get the job done faster, safer, easier, and reliably. And that's why the Husqvarna hatchet for me is a complete fail. It's not because necessarily the fact that I was catfished into buying an axe or a hatchet that wasn't what was advertised, though that certainly doesn't help it. It's truly that the ergonomics and the design of the blade are poor. And in fairness, I would highly encourage looking at hatchets more like the All Mike, even though they're more expensive. One of those things that if you can stomach the cost, it's going to help you be a better woodsman in, in the outdoors. So that's what I basically have to say about these hatchets. Once again, the Husqvarna is a substantially cheaper and budget option, but you really do pay for it in quality and in craftsmanship. As always, guys, God bless, and I'm out.